Welcome everybody to Science Wednesday. Hello. So, in the last class, we saw a little bit about epidemics that we have gone through as human race through history. What do we already know? An epidemic is a disease that infects many people at the same time. A pandemic is an epidemic that happens in different countries around the world. In history, we have faced many pandemics. Some caused by bacteria, like the Black Death, and others caused by viruses, like HIV or smallpox. But actually, right now, we are living a pandemic yeah. due to coronavirus. So, for the next classes, let's focus on this. Let's focus on coronavirus. Okay. So, the first question that comes to my mind is, we know it's a virus, but what kind of a virus is it? So, Elska, do you remember that we saw before the different categories that viruses can fit in? Yeah, yeah, there were some categories. <laughs> so, do you think that we could try to categorize coronavirus? I think maybe to do this, can we just go back to class 2? Oh, um, okay. So, let's then now go back to class number 2. Oh my Whoa. goodness! Hello. Hello! Hello! Kinda forgot the categories of the viruses, so could you maybe... Uh, yes, yeah, uh, of course. course. Why not? So, uh, the different types of viruses that we can find, we can categorize according to their structure, according to the genetic material, according to the fact whether they have or not a layer outside, and also according to their host, what they can infect. Is that uh, enough? Alright, so now we've seen the categories, maybe we should look at Corona, the actual virus, uh -huh. to see what okay, kind of virus. Let's yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, let's uh, we get uh, take some measures. Uh, yeah, I'll take uh, put on a glove. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it on. Okay. Is it supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> How not to wear a mask? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. Are yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll step a little bit back. Yeah. Okay, so. The first thing I can see is that it has a, a cover outside. So it's a covered one. It has a layer of fat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, another thing that I cannot see, but I know, is that it infects humans. So it hosts our people. That's true. And animals. And animals. Then, even if here we cannot see the inside, I know that this form of RNA, not DNA, mm. and the structure is is complex. It's not exactly helicoidal or exactly icosahedric, but it's like a combination. It's a little bit more difficult. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think with this we can just get rid of the virus. Can before. put it back? Maybe, yes. Okay. Just put it back. Go, go. Oh, my friend. And now I think we can just take this off. Okay. Lovely. So, oh. uh, yeah, yeah. Dispose the glove. So, now we know the category of the virus, but uh, how is it transmitted? Well, do you remember? We talked about this before. I know we talked about this, uh, but maybe we could just refresh our minds going back to glass number nine. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, hello. Oh, well, hey guys. Uh, can we help and you? We're coming from the future. And we were wondering if you could remind us the different kind of transmission. Okay, so um, the a virus can be transmitted in different ways. It can be transmitted through infected meat. It can be transmitted through surfaces, uh, airborne transmission, uh, droplet transmission, waterborne transmission, and vector transmission. Amazing! Well, thank, thank you so much. much. <laughs> So in the case of the coronavirus, we know that it's spread by droplet uh -huh. uh, transmission. For example, someone coughing or sneezing, this creates tiny little bits of water uh -huh. from your mouth. And if this comes on another person, for example, me sneezing on you, <laughs> then you can get infected uh -huh. as well. And in this way, it also transmit, uh, transmits through surfaces. Because if I, for example, sneeze on a table, uh -huh and someone else touches this table afterwards and then touches their face it can also infect you again so this is the case for coronavirus 
and that's uh -huh. also why they say you should always wash your hands a lot because that's how you get your hands clean and the virus will go you cannot infect someone else with it if it's on your hands and also the masks prevents all the droplets from your mouth to come out so uh -huh. if you are sick yourself you put the masks and therefore the droplets go, do not reach another, another person. person so they actually don't work for you to prevent you from getting sick no no it's mainly from preventing you contagion someone people. else yeah what did we learn today we learned about coronavirus it is a virus with rna that is covered with fats and that can infect humans and other animals it can be transmitted through droplets and it can also survive in surfaces and that was all for today yeah. we hope you enjoyed we hope you learned and see you in the next class bye bye bye, -bye.